Hey guys, this is uh, Spoonie with Shooter's Loft, and today I'm going to review uh, a tool, more specifically a sight pusher. And this is from a company called Fisher Solutions. It's in El Cajon, California, which is around San Diego, and you can get it at uh, sightpusher.com. I actually ended up buying this through Amazon. I paid $74, and it came with uh, XD, XDM blocks. And it also works, uh, it comes standard if you just get the basic one with these blocks right here, which the, pull them out real quick. And these are the blocks. And you can see the other one is in there. You attach them with a the screw right there. But anyway, these are the various blocks. And these are what, you know, they're machined to fit on the slide. And you can see that that one's angled. And then that one right there has a little bit of a step to it for XDs. And I believe they also work for SIG and H and K. Uh, it also comes with this little block right here, which is an addendum into here. If you pull the, if you pull that block out right there, uh, take up the gap if you need it for whatever reason. So it's pretty simple and it works for a lot of different handguns, which is good. It's uh, inexpensive, which is another good thing. Um, but having a universal one's a good idea because someone may need you to push sights or you may even have a bunch of different kinds of pistols that you need to uh, push sights on. And in, instead of buying a specific sight pusher for each individual pistol, you can just use one for all of them. A little bit of a basic rundown of how it works. It's pretty simple. You just put that on there and of course you clamp the slide in right here and you turn this and you can see the actual pusher itself rotates across. I'm trying to do it by hand here and hold the camera. I don't have a way to hold the camera up right now. And you can see it just goes across and pushes the side out. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the only stipulation that I saw, uh, well you also do the jam nut once you get it clamped down, I'm sorry. Once you get it clamped in, you run this jam nut up against the sight pusher. That way it doesn't back out. You don't want to loosen this slide up. You could mar it or anything else. Uh, the only stipulations that I saw that they specifically said was, is you never turn this side, which obviously you back that nut off, which you don't want to do. Um, and you have to use something to shim the bottom of it. So you line up your sight blade with the blade, you know, the, the pusher blade uh, with the sight itself. So... I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna do another video right after this. I'm gonna replace the sights on my Glock 17 and we'll actually give it a go. But so far so good, it's inexpensive, it's really well made. It's simple, I'm certainly looking at it. If you have the means to machine the, at least these blocks anyway, you can probably make it yourself, which I don't. So pretty good purchase, I like it. But anyway, check them out. If you need something inexpensive, like I said, sightpusher.com, Fisher Solutions, it's their universal handgun sight tool. And it's out of El Cajon, California. Okay, guys. Uh, one thing I learned, um, I actually had to go back and reshoot this little part right here. Or shoot this part right here. Uh, I just pushed the sides of my Glock 17, and I was having issues with this dragging across the top of this uh, block right here, the, the, the clamp block. And I couldn't figure out why. And I got to playing around with it and both sides of it actually. And they weren't laying flat with the bottom of this uh, spacer right here. And I didn't realize it. And it may be in the directions. I'm horrible about right, not reading directions. And so it probably was my fault. But anyway, what I figured out was is this will fit on here and that will too. It'll actually fit both ways. And you see this is actually the wrong way. This is what I found out. And you can see that gap right there. And all you have to do is just flip it over like this. And voila, no more gap. It actually would have had plenty of clearance. Uh, and I wouldn't have had some, oh, sorry. Probably had the camera wrong. Anyway, let me draw it again. Uh, see, right here's the right way. It has no gap or hardly any gap. Well, how I had it, and I had both of them like this. I had it like that, and you can see the gap. And I was running into a drag, the sight, and everything was dragging across the top of this thing. So that's what it is. And on this is for the square sides, for like 1911 Glocks, that kind of stuff. Anything with a flat slide. Uh, the thin portion is actually the top so make sure you in, in line this thing up there shouldn't be any gap between this and the bottom so check that before you do it and now what I'm going to do is actually is get my spring loaded power punch here I'm going to put two dots up here that way I know that that's the top and then my other blocks for the XD the XDM and stuff I don't have to bust with them I don't have an XD anymore but I don't have to find somebody who does and mess with it and figure out which way you're supposed to go and I don't have to mark those the same way so that might be something you want to do uh, but outside of that, it actually worked really well. I thought it was going to be an issue. I really wasn't too impressed with it until I figured out that I was the one doing it wrong. So check them out. And uh, as always, visit ShootersLoft.com.